Hello to Pew High School and welcome to our 2021 class meetings. We certainly have started this school year off under interesting times. I said in a faculty meeting last week that these are very cool times to see as teachers and students are learning together. We are so happy to be working with you again. We are proud of each and every one of you and you make our jobs, careers, and lives rewarding. This class meeting is very different as it is in a virtual format as a recording, but we do need to review our practices to ensure everyone is safe, comfortable, and successful in their learning. Today, you are going to hear from Officer Hausfeld, Mr. Sigachillis, and Mrs. Fada. They are going to speak to you about building policies, safety measures, learning responsibilities, attendance, activities, and eligibility in athletics. And now at this time, I'd like to introduce Officer Hausfeld. Hi everybody, this is Officer Scott. I am our school resource officer and I'm happy to be back, even though we're half classes each day, half students each day, but it's still good to see everybody uh, walk in the halls. So my job here is not so much to be a cop that arrests people or anything like that. My job is to help support all of you with your education process. I am not a teacher, but I can help with some of your work. I'm not a counselor, but I can help the counselors with things you might need or discussions you want to have with me. I could do that in my office, which is room 261 next to Mr. Muldoon's or uh, at a different place or with a trusted teacher uh, within the school. All you got to do is just reach out to me. If you have any questions or concerns, I'm available to help you with those. Even if we're out of school, you can just uh, email me, shosfield at the Pew Schools, just like your emails are, and I will get back to you uh, even if we're off from school. Okay, so have a great year, and we'll see you in the halls. Now I'd like to introduce uh, our assistant, one of our assistant principals, Bob Skachillis. Thank you, Mr. Lupini. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for having such an amazing attitude and being so fantastic at the beginning of the school year. Selfishly, it's been very enjoyable to talk to students in this building every day. The first policy that I'm gonna be discussing is DASA, and that stands for Dignity for All Students Act. We rely on all of you to make our school great. And if someone is treating you unfairly, you please come down to the office or to the counseling center, talk to a teacher. We will all confidentially handle situations that will make your day better. You will feel better if you first get the information off your chest and you will feel better if the situation that is upsetting you is rectified or resolved. Please give us the opportunity to do that for you. The responsibility piece here is a little bit different than past years. Clearly, when you're coming to school, we need to be here on time and to get to classes. You guys have been doing a great job of that. At home, this is a, a new animal. It really is difficult. I, I would picture myself as a high school student. It would be difficult for me to get on Zooms or you know, Schoology on time. One thing that I suggest doing is having your times of your classes set five minutes before with an alarm on your phone. So that if, let's say, because you don't have to be on for study halls or lunches when you're at home, that that'll give you that alarm to give you the time necessary to be there waiting for the teacher so that you are there on time and so that you can have the best possible education at the pew. When you are here, Passes, we all know we need to have pre-signed passes so that, you know, if there's an emergency, clearly you can head down to the counseling center or the nurse's office. But if there is not an emergency, please seek out the teacher or the adult in advance. Ask for permission to come down to their class or their area. Get a pass and then be prepared to give the pass to the teacher or to the monitor so that they know where you're going to be. 
We just need to know it's, it's a very bad look if a parent calls the office and we can't find where you are. It's not, that's not a good uh, situation there for us when we're communicating with your family. Cafeteria is pretty straightforward and you've been doing an amazing job of taking care of the cafeteria and of cleaning and following through with those expectations. Um, when things change, we will let you know. But currently, you know, it's two to a table, as you guys know. And uh, lunches and breakfasts are free for all of you. And if it was me, I would be picking up that bagel when I'm walking by coming into school, that free bagel, that Depew bagel that is so famous. It is entirely up to you, but you are, if you're missing out on free food, it would have been difficult for me in high school to pass up free food. Study hall, I know sometimes um, you, you have a everyday study hall that you go to a certain teacher. You need to go to that study hall that's in the library first. Reason behind that, there are times when we have subs that are unaware that you have a pass to a class every day. They need to know where you are. So please take the extra minute, go to the study hall, say hello to the study hall teacher or monitor, and then go to your desired location that you already have a pre-signed pass for. This is a new, new beginning for all of us. Juniors, in this situation, you lucked out. You have the ability, and most of you are utilizing that, that are able to drive parking permits. The parking lot has been handled in a fantastic fashion so far. Everyone's been following speed limits and safety um, with the fact that really bad things could happen with a vehicle and the safety portion of this. This is a one and done situation. So please continue to follow through with the, the expectations, the normal expectations of you know parking in your own parking spot, making sure that you're not speeding in the parking lot, being appropriate and mature with a very important responsibility. This is more for the freshmen, um, or you know, if you have a favorite teacher in the middle school, um, do not head down the breezeway to the middle school. That is, that's uh, no good, not, we're not doing that. Once after school activities open up, you know, that maybe we could set something up where if you talk to the teacher in advance, maybe you could connect with that teacher, but that sh you should not be traveling down to the middle school. I picture myself, if I was a high school kid at this point in time, I would not want to go into a bathroom and worry about kids vaping. Be respectful, follow the rules, and monitor your own bathrooms. We will be monitoring and continue to monitor vaping everywhere. Just so you know, if you're possessing, if you're holding a vape, it is three days of either in school or out of school suspension for the first offense. It's a very severe consequence for a very severe and addicting behavior. Do not vape anywhere. Do not hold a vape for someone. Get yourself out of situations where you may feel like that you may be asked to vape in any situation, whether it's on campus or off. In the beginning and after school, I feel like we've improved every day with our transportation whether it's busing or with parent pickup or driver, student drivers, continue to follow those expectations. If you have any concerns about where you need to park, please stop in the main office. Our safety plan, you know, I, I, I commend you. We do not have situations. We, we have full compliance from all of you with, with our masks. Continue to do that. If you, each class should have a system at this point for a mask break. Just follow through with that. Don't put the adult in an uncomfortable situation where they need to tell you no because it's, it's not safe for what you're asking. Be reasonable with your requests. We know we need to be social distancing, and I feel like we're doing a great job with that. Keep that going. If you haven't seen any hand sanitizer stations, you need to open your eyes because they're everywhere. Make sure that you're using that. Okay, if you feel like you have clammy hands or if you're, you know, maybe you might need it, use it. Wash your hands for 20 seconds if you're after going, after being in the bathroom. Follow through with these limited expectations. Be, you know, we want to make sure that we can do anything in our power to keep our school open for the entire school year.
We've already talked about lunch and arrival and departure. It's been a fantastic beginning of the year. Thank you for, and I thank you in advance for continuing the fantastic year that we are going to have. And now I'd like to present our new high school assistant principal, Mrs. Fata. Thank you, Mr. Skichillis. I too am so happy to be back to school with students and staff. Plus, I'm beyond thrilled now to be part of the high school community and family. First, I'm gonna talk about reopening learning. All of the students have been doing a great job with this. Schoology is your learning platform that you are using with your teachers. You need to make sure that you're checking your school email and your Schoology courses every single day. When you are learning virtually, keep in mind the virtual learning etiquette or netiquette. Please make every effort to use a school issued device to log in to any virtual learning, such as Zoom. Your first and last name should be displayed when you are entering a Zoom class. Your camera should be on so the teacher can verify it is you. This is for your safety, guys. Make sure that you keep yourself muted until you're called upon and only use the chat feature if the teacher asks you to. Remember, virtual learning is like in-person learning. All the same rules apply. And please remember, all of these rules are to keep you and your classmates safe. The acceptable technology use policy is very important for you to remember as well. School issued devices should only be used for school tasks and nothing else. Please remember that we can see everything and we get notifications if you are using your device inappropriately. Attendance. All students, in-person students, hybrid at home, and remote learners must follow their daily bell schedule. Mr. Skichillis already mentioned this, setting up a schedule at home so that you can stay on task, setting an alarm on your phone, to make sure that you're entering your classes on time. When you are virtual, you must make sure you're logging into your classes at the start of class and that you are remaining in your class the entire time the teacher is delivering instruction. Virtual students must participate in their scheduled 40 minute period and 20 minutes on Wednesday, or you will be marked absent from that class. If you have an excused absence, please call it in, have your parents call it in to our attendance office at 686-5076. Although Depew Threads is currently closed, it is still open by appointment. Please make sure that you see Mrs. Gregoire or Mrs. Melcheski if you need to make an appointment or you need something from Depew Threads. Mr. Skachillis and I will also help you with this. Our cell phone policy. There should be no video recording or taking pictures without anyone's permission. Please make sure that you have your cell phones on silent. The reason behind this is that we don't want to have additional distractions in school. We want everyone to be able to focus on the lesson. Headphones are not allowed. And when you're in the hallway, you can listen to one earbud only. Please make sure that you are removing that earbud, though, if you are talking to an adult. Show respect. You should not at any time be talking on the phone in the hallway. Violation of the cell phone policy is subject to disciplinary process as outlined in the student handbook. Please use it for nonverbal communications only in the cafeteria or hallways. Cell phones are not allowed to be used in the bathrooms, locker rooms, internal suspension room, detention, or the auditorium. When you are in classrooms or study halls, you are not allowed to use your cell phone 
unless the teacher instructs you to or has given you permission. So there's so many fun activities to still participate in, even though we've reopened a little bit different than in the past. The clubs are going virtual this year, and we really encourage you to get involved in anything that you're interested in. So take advantage and participate. Now I welcome back Mr. Skichilis. We, As Mrs. Fata just described, we want all of you to be connected to school in a variety of ways. And part of that is athletics, clubs, uh, you know, overnight trips. Hopefully at some point we can have dances and homecoming activities. And for non-seniors, you know, hopefully next fall we'll be back to normal, so to speak, where we have everything that we've offered pre-pandemic in a more natural, um, in a more natural way that, that we've, we all become accustomed to. With that being said, academics comes first. And you need to be, per code of conduct, you need to be passing your classes to participate in all these activities. If you are showing up to your Zooms on time, if you're coming to school, if you have a positive attitude, if you are trying and doing your homework, the eligibility policy will never come into effect. We have an amazing staff that will give you opportunities and work with you so that you understand the material. However, if you're not doing the bare minimum, the eligibility policy could come into effect where some of your activities that you would like to participate in, you will not be able to. And the eligibility list will come out actually very soon, week, week, uh, during weeks five, and then every 10 weeks, 10, 20, 30, and then 40 weeks. The 40 week one will be the entire school year. If you fail a class, you will start, if you're a non-senior, you will start next year on probation. I will give all of you who, hopefully we don't have one person on the list, but if you are on the list, I will seek you out. We will have a letter or I will talk to you about the policy in more depth. But again, if you are putting forth an effort, you will be fine. There's a little bit more details right there that I didn't discuss. If you're failing one or more subjects, you will need to seek out teachers for remediation because the goal is to not take things away from you. The goal is for you to do well in school and receive the help that you need and a little bit more push hopefully with whether it's through athletics or through the musical or any sort of event that's connected to eligibility will allow you to become more motivated in the classroom so that you will be more successful with your academics forms are basically everywhere if you go to an office if the athletic office would be number one and they're right now currently outside the office but if you go to the main office they'll They'll, I'm sure we can get you a form there as well. We can talk through, you would have to turn it in on Thursdays by noon, but hopefully we won't have to have that discussion because you're putting forth an effort in the classroom. If you have any questions, you can email us. You can stop down in the main office. You can ask us in the hallway. Mr. Lupini as well can answer any questions. Ask your teachers. They can also help you out with this. And if they don't know the answer, they will seek us out. Please ask questions. It's important to be informed about what you can and can't do. Again, what a fantastic school year so far. Let's keep it rolling to Pew. I'd like to welcome freshmen to the high school. My name is Mrs. Zawistowski, and I will be one of your advisors this year. We're so excited to meet all of you. So this is Mrs. Corden and myself. We have been class advisors together for the past four years, and we are really looking forward to starting off the year with a new class. This is a picture of her and I. We were the senior class advisor last year, and we took seniors on a senior trip to New York City at Christmas time. We had a fabulous time. It was a ton of fun. I'd like to talk a little bit about fundraisers. So we need to raise money beginning our freshman year so that we can pay for events that go on throughout the year. Spirit week and decorating our wall each year, uh, preparing for our motorcade, and even, even starting to put some money away for prom and, and our senior activities. It's important that we start to plan for these things. 
So our very first fundraiser is going to be our clothing sale. And as you can see on the screen, uh, this will be our first clothing sale um, straight out of quarantine class of 2024. Comes in options of a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt or a hoodie. Um, order forms will be passed out in your English classes and reminders will be on Wildcat TV as far as when the sale ends, when you have to turn your money in by. Um, but we'd love for you to all have uh, one of these great shirts. So please look for the information that will be, be given out again in your English classes. Can't wait to meet you all. Thank you and have a wonderful Hi, day. Class of 2024, I'm Mrs. Corden, uh, along with Mrs. Zalistowski. We are your class advisors for the next four years. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about class office this year. Uh, instead of doing elections this year because of the situation, we're going to do a board um, so that hopefully we'll give more people an opportunity to participate. Uh, Mrs. Zalistowski and I will be sending out uh, an email soon with a link uh, for you to join us in a Zoom uh, to kind of talk about some things like fundraising and what kinds of things we are going to be able to do this year. Um, so we look forward to working with you for the next four years. We're so happy to be your advisors. Uh, hopefully you're having a great year so far and we will see you all soon. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Koenig. Mr. Cena and I would like to welcome all of you back to school. We are so excited once again to be your class advisors. There are just a few things that I would like to go over with all of you. First of all, I wanna make sure that everyone has joined Remind. The directions are here and they are also located on your class Schoology page. So if you are new this year or for whatever reason did not join last year, please do so. You would go to the number 81010 and then text at 93CE76. Um, this is really how we communicate with you and send you reminders. So it would be very useful for you to definitely get on there. Secondly, as hopefully most of you know by now, we have our ring sale taking place. So if you are interested in purchasing a high school class ring, this would be the time to do that. The sale is running now through October 19th. You should have received an email from Mr. Cena. I have also posted all of the information in Schoology and we passed out some forms in your social studies classes. I have extra forms in my classroom, room 142 in the high school, and I also have a ring sizer. So if you are interested in ordering a ring and you need a form or you need to check your ring size, then please stop by. We'll be having that sale through October 19th. You order everything online and all of the information again is in your email or on your Schoology page. And lastly, we are still currently hoping to do a Depew gear sale. Um, that is something that the sophomores um, are supposed to be doing this year. And we are looking at something um, towards the end of October into November so that you will be able to have those items in time for the winter break. So Mr. Cena and I look forward to working with all of you again this year. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or to stop by and we are looking forward to seeing all of you soon. Class of 2022, due to the current situation, there isn't much officially scheduled, but stay tuned. There will be a Zoom meeting on Thursday, October 15th at 3 p.m. Please go to the Schoology page for the link. Everybody is looking for creative ideas on how to make your junior year memorable. So come with your ideas. As always, Mrs. Tabak and Mrs. Ferrari look forward to working with you this year. And don't forget to join the Remind. Text at 2H6DKHG to 81010 so that you can stay on top of everything that's going on. Welcome back, class of 2021. It's me, Yay! Kim. It's me, Kim, your president. We have some information on the day of the year. So, senior clothing 
has been extended until October. It's all online, so you have to go to the link in your email or copy this one. It's also, it should, you got information sheets were passed out in English class, so you have that link so you can order it clothing. As of today, we had 40 orders. That's it for our senior class. So we're hoping by extending the deadline and passing the information sheet out that more of you get involved. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys buy some because I'm disappointed. Oh. See, here's the link. Important dates. So our junior and senior prom is June 4th, 2021 at the Whirlitz in North Tonawanda. It's 6 to 11, so as far as we know, it's happening. The senior walk is also June 4th, so it'll be in the morning. And then our senior banquet is at Clocks Grove on June 9th, 2021 at 6 p.m. Senior breakfast will be June 15th, and a picnic at Chestnut Ridge will follow. Right now, the Chestnut Ridge picnic, we cannot secure a date. All of the uh, sites are closed due to COVID. So again, all of the situations that Caitlin has mentioned, they're all fluid, meaning they could change at any point. We're hoping they still go, but uh, right now we have them all planned and booked, but we don't know uh, with 100% certainty whether that is. With that, your senior trip that we had worked on and we're planning with people up until March 12th of last year, uh, based on the situation with COVID, there will be no senior trip for our class. Senior pictures. Make sure you order your senior pictures and pick one for the yearbook. And then pick up your Follies t-shirts from last year in Mr. Colbert's room, the Marky Mark t-shirts. Please, he has a big pile in the back of his room. Marky Mark and the Junior Bunch. And then please check your email for the class of 2021 Schoology page and remind 101 on a regular basis. And we'll have a class drive so you can upload photos for our senior banquet so we can have a little slideshow going.